All right. The underlying energy here is the Empress. So this is telling me, guys, that this is a this is the week for manifestation to manifest exactly what you want to get have an idea and give birth to that idea. Okay. Um, I don't see any other cards here. So some of you guys it could be you guys could be pregnant, could be expecting, but I don't see the sun. So for, this is a very slim chance for some of you that are expecting this week, but. This the energies that I'm gathering from this is creating and um and um manifesting your own abundance. Okay, um, manifesting your own, you manifesting your own manifesting 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 is the big word for this week for y'all. Okay, now the underlying energy for the, the un sorry the underlying energy the heart of the reading is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Uh, she is very passionate, uh, very fun, very playful. Um, she's not very well. She can be very playful. She's the life of the party. She's the celebrity. She's also very charismatic and outgoing. Um, she's very good with groups and people. Okay, um, so this could be you guys um, tapping into that outgoing nature. You know, being more social, being more out there, um, being more active, even. Um, and I think that's a really good thing to kind of have that, you know, be more active kind of like feel to it. You guys also could be dating someone that's a Sagittarius, Leo, or an Aries at this time. Uh, or see, or this could be the energies of somebody that you're dealing with. The heart of the reading could be this person that is, you know, very passionate and creative, like I said. Um, that is the heart of your reading at, um, in the moment. Um, and what's crossing you is the four of pentacles. Now, when I pulled this card, the card was upside down. So this is definitely saying that they, this is the reversed version of it, even though I already read the card as reversed. If, if my intuition says to read it as reversed again, okay? for some of the readings for this week, I've read them right side up because this, that's just what I was led to, um, to read them as. But for this, this is basically saying you're taking a risk. You're letting, you're in, you're letting, you're letting, um, yourself open up in um, your um, expression. Um, you're trusting again. You're taking, well, maybe not trusting again, but you're basically taking a risk. You're not being, um, you're not, you're not being the miser. Okay. Uh, so this is, uh, like I said, opening up. Uh, you're letting that passion flow. You're letting that creativity flow. This person probably, you know, this prob this person is in regard in regards to that. You're probably expressing yourself. Um, you're expressing your vulnerability. You're capitalizing on that vulnerability and you're taking a risk. You're leaving, uh, you're not leaving the things that you have valuable behind, but you're off to attain more and, you know, taking that risk, leaving it there and, and having that trust that it'll be there when you get back. So pretty much the four of pentacles is the exact opposite. You know, it's about, you know, keeping things close. You're feeling vulnerable. So you're kind of keeping things huddled up to you and keeping them, tight against you because you don't want to let them go you, that's just kind of how you feel secure but when it's reversed um or in the hindered section of the card right side up that tells or upside down even definitely tells me that y'all are definitely taking a risk nowadays okay excellent 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 all right so the crowning energy for you guys is the ace of wands so that tells me that there's a new beginning up ahead so um this is about starting a new beginning so this is saying the the the, the advice for this is saying let's start a new beginning let's get, let's get a spark of passion going and creativity this is now time for you to create this new beginning especially with the empress as your underlying energy it's time to create a new beginning and a new start for you guys that's exciting and full of passion and drive okay um, in the past here, you have the queen of pentacles. So perhaps you felt more stable in the past, or perhaps you were dealing with someone that was a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but I feel like this is for you guys. You guys felt more ab abundant, maybe financially abundant. Um, you guys were hard workers even. Um, you guys, um, also were very, um, you know, grounded and very stable in how you felt and, um, who you were. In your relationship you're very grounding kind of type person and that's kind of like the empress the empress is very grounding nature she's the mother card you know the mother's mother is very grounded and very you know nurturing and caring and so are the queen of pentacles they're very nurturing and caring people as well it's basically the same card except the empress the empress is um very much 
more of a stronger um stronger energy than the queen of pentacles same energy but very much stronger they're they're financially abundant they're very she in her abundance she's in her abundance very nurturing caring very stable energy she's a very stable energy as well so in the past this came up for you guys okay you guys were very more you guys were feeling that energy of you know of groundedness and you had a foundation that you had you guys felt like you were the foundation uh, for yourself and for your partner even or perhaps you that the um, this is someone else that you had felt that uh, you felt it's in your present now or you felt like in the past was your grounding your your rock your stability okay um presently though you have the seven of wands so this is standing your ground this is about a change in the current you know you have the confidence and the ability to go ahead and you know fight your battles but you have to stand your ground right so that is basically just like standing up, uh, uh, standing up against the tides, you know, having that self-confidence and that pride to go ahead and push through any difficult situations that you're in at this time. And that is perfect, guys. It's really good. However, in how you see your future, you see a successful completion, a successful cycle ending and, and you beginning starting, especially, I think that's great, especially with the Ace of Wands ahead. That's saying that not only, not only are you about to you see yourself ending the cycle successfully and wonderfully, right? But you're also being the Empress, manifesting that new beginning, because that's the advice. Start, go ahead, start ahead, go ahead and get that new beginning going, okay? Because it is in your favor. And oh my god. Y'all got the king of wands in your outcome. So that tells me that this is a relationship here. This passionate new beginning is in regards to possibly even dating. Um, someone in... This is someone that's like your other half. This is the... This, you got two... Oh, you have a complete suit in your, in your um, spread here. For this week, the king of wands is just like the queen of wands. Just the just um just the other just the, the other half. Okay, so this could be a partner. The result is having this the King of Wands in your life, male or female doesn't necessarily matter. It's just the other half of you, your significant other. So it's being passionate with your partner in a way. If that makes sense. That's awesome. That could be a Sagittarius Leo, um, Sagittarius Leo or Aries, uh, or is you someone that you see that's very fun, very passionate, very creative. Very charismatic and outgoing, okay? Uh, someone that you just see that's also very active. But this is coming up, like I said before, this is a suit. So this is the both of yours. It's both of you guys. Really awesome, guys. Really awesome. Wow. True love, guys. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Queen of Wands and King of Wands. I, I don't I know a lot of people don't believe in twin flames. This could also be a twin flame relationship. The passion comes up, but it doesn't have to be twin flames. It could be so it doesn't have to be a soulmate. This could be just true love, right guys? This could be the romance of a lifetime. Woo! Yes. Alright. That is perfect, guys. That is beautiful. Absolutely happy for y'all. Pull the wisdom of the oracle. Okay, mending. This is forgiving and healing after arguments. So, um, this is also the ending. This is the last card of the wisdom oracle deck. And since you have the last card of the or of the tarot uh, tarot deck as well, this is telling me that this is just the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new. So you can start the whole thing all over again. After this card, you go back to number one, which is Yang. And Yang is all that masculine energy about doing and taking and, you know, just getting all the things that you want, right? Well, just not getting all the things, but putting action forth the things that you want. So with this, it's just successfully ending the cycle. If this, for me, when you see mending, it's about forgiving, understanding what you guys have went through, remembering and looking back on the cycle that you guys have just completed successfully and begin this new beginning with the perspective in mind from the past, everything that you learned, accepting of and forgiving of the things that were not so great and beginning this new beginning all over again with the people, the, the person that you're in love with. Freaking hell, guys. I'm happy for you. Manifest, manifest, manifest. This is a time to manifest your new beginning and successfully complete this whole cycle. 
Stand your ground, guys, because you're, you're almost there towards that change, that ultimate change. You're almost there, and you have true love right here, okay? You guys have the Seven of Wands as the first card. Now, this is a bi-weekly reading, and I'm doing a different spread here. So I'll go through um, each section to go ahead and describe each part to you, okay? Uh, what they represent. So the Seven of Wands here as as the first card this is speaking about how you're feeling in your current situation right and this is also the current problem uh, it could be as well um usually it's just your current state actually uh so right now you're kind of like standing uh standing your ground being defensive uh you know you're ready you're ready for the you know the tides to change and you're just ready you're just prepared for that so I mean, you're on, yes, it may speak of being on the defense, but you have pride, you have, you know, you're, you're feeling empowered, so you are ready to take on the storm that's coming to you, or you, pretty much, the, the that's what the man looks like anyway, he's ready to take on the world at this time, and that's how you guys are feeling at this time. Um, your goal here is the Ace of Cups. So it says to me that you that you guys are wanting to begin something in love, something new, something something that is vibrating with romance and um, emotions. So this is definitely something that you guys are really wanting to start and go on ahead with. Uh, this is your aspiration at this time to uh, begin this journey in love, this new to find have new love. Have this romance go ahead and, and vibrate and um, kind of be the center of your world. At least, definitely, you know, take up this you know, this time in your life. Um, the only thing that's keeping you guys from... Well, the thing that's keeping you guys from this new love, though, is the higher friend. So there could be some um, tra traditional... Um, traditional um, differences or perhaps there's something in regards to something uh, being in the norm if that makes sense so something isn't normal about um, something isn't normal about like possibly going uh, going about this or going or something isn't normal in your everyday to day life in regards to this new love so although you want new love and that's what you're kind of going for but you're on the defense perhaps there is also a bit of um um, you know, traditional differences that you have to worry about. Perhaps you're in a different country or something. Or maybe um, this is, like, for those of you that aren't in a different country, because there's a lot of you guys that aren't in a, in a different country, you guys are in your own country, there's just some things that you have um, that you don't want changed. Some things that you kind of want to stick to the kind of status quo of, if that makes sense. You don't want to deter from the from the usual, so that is what's possibly keeping you guys from new love at this time. Um, the best advice is to is to have the chariot, um, to be the chariot is to balance things in your um, balance your head and your heart, um, and once you do that, you will have momentum to get to whatever you want faster. Okay, but once once everything's balanced, you have impeccable speed, and with that speed can come new love. But there has to be balance between your head and heart. So what you love versus what how you feel has to be properly balanced before you can see the um, see the um, things that you are looking for, or before you can pick up that momentum and that speed to get to um, whatever you do absolutely desire. Now, for the romance angels here, you have let go of control issues, allow the situation to f unfold naturally, and that's why I'm saying this possibly has something to do with definitely something that is against your status quo or what you see as normal. Um, perhaps this is um, be kind of being very, very cookie cutter about how your partner, how you see her or how you want your partner to be. So this is possibly saying... Uh, to you know, let go of control issues, allow them to be themselves, and tr try something different. It doesn't have the, this new love. It can make you feel absolutely wonderful. It doesn't have to be exactly what you want. Um, so go ahead and just let those things flow. Um, th th I wouldn't say it just take anybody off the street, but if this is someone different and someone this you typically wouldn't date, absolutely try it out take a risk you know because it's i mean that's what love is love is a risk especially in the beginning just you know and you can you always have yourself and you always have friends to back you up 
Um, so just remember to, you know, to try something new. And the reason why I say try something new is, to, is because of the Wisdom Oracle card here. It speaks of flexibility. Okay. Flexible. It's time for you guys to be able to be open-minded and to learn something different. To, um, to f go with the flow of the, of the currents and the different changes around you be the tree an example of that the card uses here and how the tree bends with the wind versus how the tree uh, versus how the uh, bend uh, a, a building would go against the wind if it's strong enough it'll destroy the building it'll just fall straight on its back or just crumble all at once whatever the storm is but at least but the, but the tree it bends and moves with with the air and with the with the wind because it's dealing with a different environment and it doesn't want to snap okay so this is all about being teachable adjusting to new environments and you know having an open mind okay so this is all about open-mindedness don't be so cookie cutter and defensive about your love life okay try something new and try something different because this is a time that i mean somebody somebody different and new can really surprise you and just be absolutely wonderful and fulfilling in your life for those of you that are in relationship this could be in regards to how your relationship is going maybe this is maybe the traditional way is kind of what's making this whole your whole love life free on guard if that makes sense it's making you feel on guard in your relationship so perhaps this is a time to try something different and let go of control issues in a way that the same old usual scheduled things that you guys have together in your love life isn't working let's try something different and this will this will gain will regain balance in that chariot and make that new love come to you quicker okay